Hi all, I'm Divya. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today in this video, we are going to study how to solve some usual difficult bot and string questions using some shortcut tricks. Before that, let us study the basic uh, terms that we use in bot and streams and the basic four formulas. Here the basic four terms are first one speed of bot in still water which we usually represented by x then the speed of the stream which we usually represented by y then the downstream speed that is the speed of the bot when the bot goes along with the direction of the stream is represented as u then the upstream speed which is the speed of the bot when the bot goes opposite to the direction of the flow of the stream which we represented by v now let us see the formulas to find out these values downstream speed which represented as u is equal to x plus y so always downstream speed is equal to the sum of the speed of the bot in still water and the speed of the stream then upstream speed v is equal to x minus y now let us see the formula to find out x and y x and y in terms of u and v is x is equal to half of u plus v and y is equal to half of u minus v. So these are the very basic four formulas in bot and streams. Now let us study how to solve those difficult bot and stream questions using some shortcut tricks. Here our first question is a boat goes 12 km downstream and comes back to the starting point in 3 hours. If the speed of the current is 3 km per hour, then the speed of the boat in still water is. So first let us check which all are the details given in the question. So here it is given a boat goes 12 km downstream and comes back to the starting point in 3 hours. That is the one side distance is 12 km and I am taking it as D. D is given as 12 km and it is given that the boat goes downstream and comes back to the starting point in 3 hours. That is the total time is given. So I am taking the total time T as 3 hours. So it is 3 hours. Now it is asked if the speed of the current is 3 km per hour then the speed of the boat in still water. So the speed of the current which is if the y if y is 3 km per hour find the value of x speed of the boat in still water. So how can we solve this question? See here we have a value of d and t. So here we can apply the basic time and distance formula which is speed is equal to distance by time. Since we have the total time I am taking this as t is equal to distance by speed. So here what is our t? t is 3. So I am taking 3 is equal to distance by time. We have two cases here downstream case and upstream case. So the first case is downstream case for that the distance is one side distance is 12 by the speed. So here the speed is of downstream. So downstream speed is x plus y. So we have the we have the value of y. We don't have the value of x. So I am taking it as x plus 3. Then the next case is upstream case. So here we need to take the distance 12 divided by the upstream speed. Upstream speed is x minus y. So here I am taking it as x minus y is equal to 3. So this is the equation. By solving this equation we will get the value of x. But is it easy to solve this equation? No. Because this equation actually contains a quadratic form. It will take more time to solve this question. So how can you solve this equation within seconds. See in every competitive exam you have the options right. So you just take the values from the option and just substitute in the equation and find the answer. Okay. So you can find the answer within seconds. First I am taking the first option 12. So when x equal to 12 will get I am taking this as first case 3 is equal to 12 by 12 plus 3 that is 15 then plus 12 by x 12 12 minus 3 is 9 so 12 by 9 so by calculating this we'll get by cancelling this with 3 4 3 5 3 4 3 3 see 4 by 5 plus 4 by 3 so this will give you 4 by 5 is almost like 0.8 and 4 by 
3 is something like 1.25. By adding both these values, you will not get 3. So you can eliminate the first option. So I am taking the second case that is x as 9. So when x is equal to 9, we will get 12 by 9 plus 3 that is 12 by 12. Then 12 by 9 minus 3 that is 12 by 6. Now see here 12 by 12 is 1 and 12 by 6 is 2 that is 1 plus 2 is 3. So here see the option 2 that is x equal to 9 will satisfy in this equation. So our answer is x is equal to 9. So you can solve these type of questions within seconds by applying this method that is by taking from the options. So now let us see one more example. So here our question is the speed of the current is 5 km per hour. A motorboat goes 10 km upstream and back again to the starting point in 50 minutes. The speed of the motorboat in still water is. So here in our question it is given the speed of the current as 5 km per hour. That is y is equal to 5 km per hour. Then it is given a, motor, a motorboat goes 10 km upstream and back again to the starting point in 50 minutes. So the total time t here is 50 minutes. Since the time is given in minutes, we need to convert it to hours. So how can we convert minutes to hours? By dividing it by 60. So 50 by 60 is 5 by 6. So 5 by 6 hours is the total time taken for this journey. Then the one side distance given as 10 km. So D is 10 km. Now it is asked to find the speed of the motorboat in still water. So here you need to find the value of x. So which is our formula? Our formula is T is equal to D by S. Here T is 5 by 6. So 5 by 6 is equal to first case that is downstream case the distance is 10 km then speed downstream speed is x plus y so we don't know the value of x then y is 5 then plus upstream case that is the distance is 10 then upstream speed which is x minus y that is x minus 5 so here you need to substitute the values from the option. So I'm taking the first option which is 25. So I'm giving the value of x as 25. I'm taking the cases first case. So 5 by 6 is equal to 10 by 25 plus 5. That is 30. So 10 by 30 is here. Then 10 by 25 minus 5. That is 10 by 20. So here you will get 1 by 3 plus 1 by 2 okay by calculating this you will get 5 by 6 see so the first case will satisfy in our equation so our answer is x is equal to 25 this, this way you can solve these type of questions easily now let us see another question here our question is the speed of a boat in still water is 12 km per hour it takes twice as long as to go upstream to a point as to return downstream to the starting point what is the speed of the current so here in this question we have given the speed of the boat in still water that is x is given as 12 km per hour then it takes twice as long as to go upstream to a point as to return downstream to the starting point. That is the time taken for upstream is twice that of the downstream. You know that time and speed are inversely proportional. So we can take it as the speed taken by downstream case is twice that of the speed taken by upstream case. So you can write it as u which is downstream speed is twice that of upstream speed that is twice that of v. So here you know u that is downstream speed is x plus y. So here the value of x is given that is 12 plus y is equal to what is the value of v? v is x minus y. So x is 12 here 12 minus y. So by solving this equation, we will get the answer for this question easily. So for that, we will take the values from the options. 
So here I am taking the first case that is 8. By taking the value of y as 8, we will get 12 plus 8 that is first case 12 plus 8 is 20. Then 12 minus 8 is 4. So 2 into 4 is 8. So this will not satisfy. So I am taking the second case that is 4. So 12 plus 4 is 16. Then 12 minus 4 is 8. So 8 into 2 is 16. So the second case will satisfy this equation. That is our answer is 4. Y is equal to 4. Hope this video was helpful. For more videos, please visit and subscribe our YouTube channel. Thank you.